Honor returning. Good night, stupid flies. All right, so I got my app here entered into a. Oh, my soul. Hey guys, Scott here with Go Kart Masters Academy. Uh, today I want to talk to you about our Bluetooth transceiver uh, that we have for all of our EFI go karts. And uh, stay tuned to the end of the video where we're, we're going to give you a discount code to be able to get $15 off of this on our website. All right, so uh, this Bluetooth here, uh, it will connect to any of our EFI go-karts. This will not connect to a carbureted go-kart. And uh, so if you're not familiar with what a carbureted versus a EFI is, EFI is electronic fuel injection, and a carbureted engine uh, is has a carburetor on it instead of a throttle body. And uh, so if you do not have a E-model uh, go-kart, whether it's a 200 or a 300, uh, you cannot use this on your go-kart. And uh, But we're going to show you today how to download the app to your phone, uh, what to do if you're having problems connecting to that, and also the website to go to to be able to get the app. All right, so as you can see here on our website, uh, this is our website here, gokartmasters.com, and if you type in Bluetooth in your search bar up here, uh, it should come up with this Bluetooth transceiver uh, for Trailmaster go-karts. And uh, again, this is not for car-rated engines. This is just for uh, EFI model go-karts. If you don't know if you have one, you can give us a call and uh, we'll walk you through that. Uh, as well, as you can see down here listed in the description, uh, this is just for Android devices as well and uh, this app is not available in the App Store on uh, your ISO or MacBook or, or any of your Mac products. Uh, there may be a way that you can uh, find out how to download that on your uh, Apple products but uh, as far as we know you cannot. It's just for Android. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to go to ChinaEFI.com. Uh, once you receive your, uh, your Bluetooth, and uh, you're, we're going to go to ChinaEFI.com in order to download the app. And as you can see here on our computer screen, uh, this is the website that we're at. Uh, if it gives you an option to click on English, uh, then click on English. And then up here at the top on this the, the menu bar, uh, we're going to click on Download. And uh, once we click on Download there, once we click on the Download there, we're going to click on this Bluetooth number 2 app. And then here you can scan the QR code that is given. And uh, with, your, with your phone there, you can scan it. All right, once you scan the QR code there, it should own your Android device. Uh, it should bring up your Play Store there where you can start downloading that or automatically start downloading uh, the app there. And uh, we're going to show you what that app looks like and uh, how to walk through it as well. All right, guys, so after you download the app on your phone, uh, before you connect the app or before you, before you try to uh, open up the app here, uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to want to uh, connect these two pieces together. If they're not already connected, uh, the red end will go to the Bluetooth piece and the other end will go to your EFI computer. Uh, if you have an EFI model, it'll go in your computer here. On this side, uh, this is usually located behind the driver's seat. If you got a two-seater cart, it's located behind the driver's seat, uh, mounted on the frame somewhere. And if you got a four-seater cart, then it's going to be behind the, uh, the, the driver's side uh, rear seat. And so on the side that your wiring harness is plugged into, uh, there'll be a connection here, holes uh, for your wire connector on this piece. And so you'll plug the pigtail uh, right into there. And that's all you have to do with that. Now you can zip tie this up uh, or you can just leave it uh, on there while you're making adjustments or monitoring it. And then you can take it off later so it's not on there all the time. All right, so after we get the app downloaded, it's gonna be this motor helper app as you see on my phone here and with the Bluetooth signal. And so we're gonna click on that motor helper app. And I don't have this plugged into a computer or to a cart that's on right now. And so I'll just kind of walk you through some things. And so the first thing what you wanna do is you're gonna to want to, uh, after it's plugged into the computer on the cart, turn the key switch on the cart to the on position. Uh, you don't have to crank it to, for all this to connect, but you do have to have the key switch on on the cart. All right, once you get it pulled, the app pulled up on your phone, uh, you would do want to click on the Bluetooth icon that is listed there. 
And once you click on that, you'll see that it says being scanning there. That means it's it's starting to scan and looking for the Bluetooth device that you plugged in. And uh, uh, we had a lot of problems trying to get this app to uh, receive our Bluetooth or to find our Bluetooth. So if it does not automatically pull up uh, it should automatically pull up here. If it does not do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to go back into the settings of our phone, go back out to our settings, and then we'll go to the apps there, and then we'll click on the motor helper app there. And so what we're going to have to do is if you look down here and you'll see what it says, per permissions. And it, on my phone here, this is what happened. We had no permissions that were granted. And so it was not allowing the Bluetooth connect because of this. So we'll click on permissions and all the ones that say not allowed, uh, we'll go into that and we'll make all of those allowed to be used for the app. So the location there, we'll click on the location and uh, we'll say only use while using only allow while using the app there and we'll go back into nearby devices we'll click on allow that one uh, notifications uh, we'll turn that on and then our phone uh, we'll click on that allowed as well now the probably the only one that's really going to matter is your nearby devices if I had to imagine there and about once we allow all of those uh, permissions granted there we'll go back out We'll click on our uh, motor helper app there. We'll go back into Bluetooth. And, and once we open up our uh, Bluetooth app here again, uh, you can see we've had some devices connected to it, but they're all disconnected now. And uh, so if you got your key switch on, you got your Bluetooth plugged into your computer on your cart, and all the permissions granted uh, in the app, in the settings there, uh, then it should automatically bring it up here. And so what I want to do now is just, what I want to do now is just go over a couple of different things uh, that we can do uh, with this app here and, and with this Bluetooth connector. Now, you're not going to be able to, it's, it's not like a sports car or a program where you got a race car and you're able to change uh, just everything that you can change in your, uh, but you can change a few settings. You can go in and change your, some of your EFI settings. You, they got three different modes in here that we can change this to. And so as we look inside of our app here, I got my app entered into a demo mode so I can kind of show you some things uh, that we can do. So the first thing we can do is we can click on the monitoring icon there and uh, we can monitor uh, a lot of different things. We can monitor our RPMs, uh, the throttle positioning sensor. Uh, that's one way we can diagnose that. Uh, it, the ignition angle, that's, that's the timing. You're probably not gonna really need all this stuff here, uh, but you can see a bunch of this stuff, battery voltage, intake temperature, cylinder temperature. Uh, now all these are in Celsius, so you're just gonna have to, you know, try to figure out what those mean. Uh, also, you can, if you look on the bottom here uh, and you click on your history faults, uh, you can see any faults that you have, any codes. Uh, you can see current codes as well. And if you go back out to your home page, you can click on test. And uh, you can, you can again, you can see your engine speed here, uh, your vehicle speed, your throttle. Uh, you can also, uh, that we can look at our fuel consumption here. So if you hit start uh, and you ride your car, it's gonna tell you what your fuel consumption is. A couple different things here. It's got a couple different charts that we can start with our acceleration, our uh, maximum speed. And if we go back out to the uh, front of the app here and click on the modification icon, then at the top of it, it's going to show you your RPMs. And uh, you can adjust the idle right here as well. If you click on this, your, des your desired idle. And, uh, you know, depending on your elevation, you may have to change uh, power level here. And uh, it's got comfort, sport, and competition. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video on how to use our EFI transceiver for all of your Trailmaster EFI go-karts. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And if we could help you in any way, we'd be more than happy to do so. And also, uh, if you buy one of these on our on our website, gokartmasters.com, you can use the code GKMEFI and get $15 off of your order. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching our video for our EFI transceiver. <laughs>